<laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon, and it really is a, a, an enormous pleasure and privilege to be patron um, of Music in the Round. And uh, as Deborah said, uh, Peter and I, well, we had lunch. My partner, Nula, and I had lunch with uh, Peter and his wife, Nina. Um, and Peter said that uh, he met Nina when he was just 16. I've known him for longer than that. <laughs> We go back a very long way. There I was as a 15-year-old schoolboy learning the violin. And actually, although I say it myself, I was quite mediocre. Um, <laughs> nevertheless, good enough for the violin teacher to choose me to play in the string, in the school string quartet. And she said, Suchet, you're going to be second violin. I said, second violin. <laughs> Why might that be, Mrs. Bean? Why am I not first violin? And she said, there's a new boy. He'll be <laughs> he will be first violin. The first rehearsal is on Wednesday afternoon at five in the afternoon. So I turned up at five in the afternoon and I was immaculately turned out. I had a black tie, <laughs> nice white shirt and collar, black jacket. <laughs> My violin was nicely polished, and the three, three of us were preparing our instruments, and suddenly the door flew open, and in came this kind of typhoon, with his hair like this, his collar was up here, his tie was here, his jacket was like this, sorry I'm late, sorry I'm late, sorry I'm late, sorry I'm late. He started to get his instrument out of, out of his case, and it was, of course, Peter Cropper, and I thought, <laughs> I'll soon see him off. And then we started to play. And I went, holy sh... <laughs> I had never heard playing like it. How old were you, Peter? 14? 15? 14. 14. Anyway, to cut a long story short, he went on to greater things. I was sacked after the first rehearsal. <laughs> but I've dined out for many a year on the fact that I once played violin in the string quartet with Peter Cropper, no less. So it is an enormous pleasure and privilege for me to be able to renew that um, acquaintanceship this afternoon, even if my violin long since, <laughs> long since vanished, but an absolute pleasure and privilege. I mean, Peter is, I think, the finest quartet leader this country has ever produced. And by the way, while I'm on the subject of Beethoven, <laughs> <laughs> there is, and he's heard me say this before, nothing nothing to touch the Lindsay Quartet's 1979 version of the entire cycle. If you haven't got it, get it. Now, Music in the Round, as you know, it's a wonderful organisation. I don't know what you think of this afternoon. As far as I'm concerned, this afternoon has proved one thing to me, and that is that the future of chamber music in this country is in very safe hands. <laughs>